The gentleman is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of H.R. 224, supporting the designation of Pi Day. This Saturday is March the 14th. The Greek letter Pi, the symbol for the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter, is rounded to 3.14. I'd like to take this opportunity to encourage our nation's students of all ages, schools, and teachers to observe Pi Day with fun math and science activities and events. This is a lighthearted event with serious goals. Math and science underpinned our nation's economic competitiveness and national security. By engaging in fun math and science activ activities from a young age, we are setting our students on a path toward science and math literacy, and opening the door to rewards and promising careers. Research has shown that most students who are not comfortable with math and science by junior high remain intimidated or uninterested throughout their education careers. On Pi Day, we want students to have fun with math and science. Second graders could calculate the area of a pizza pie at a Pi Day pizza party. Sixth graders could learn about Newton's law of math of motion from a game of bocce ball. Tenth graders could learn about the hyperbolic functions by shooting Nerf rockets in the park. I leave the specifics to the schools, but my advice is to go and have some fun. Let the students see firsthand how math and science is fun and relevant. Let them see how that it does apply to them. Let them discover that they really do like math and they really do like science. This is a loud hearted event, but the underlying problems that we have in America is serious. The President of the United States stood in this room a few weeks ago and told us that the countries that out teach us today will out compete us tomorrow. According to the 2007 trends in international mathematics and science survey done by the National Center for Education Statistics, American children in the fourth and eighth grades were outperformed by students in other countries, including Taiwan, Singapore, Russia, England, South Korea, Latvia, and Japan. Other students have been making improvements since the 1995 Tish, but they still are not achieving their potential. It doesn't matter to them as individuals, but boy, does it, it matter to our nation as a whole. The 2005 National Academics Report, Rising Above the Gathering, Gathering Storm, looked at our economic competitiveness and showed us a blank and bleak future. A stagnating U.S. economy and an ill-equipped educational system, and the U.S. losing its place as a scientific world leader. The recommendations contained in the Rising Above the Gathering Storm Report were meant to pull us off the path we were on. They were signed into law in 2007 as part of the America Compete Act and fell basically into three categories. Investment in basic research, innovation as a path to reducing our dependence on foreign oil, and improving science, technology, engineering, and math education. Our students' education, especially in science and math, will be a key component of our national economic competitiveness. We need to ensure that not only that the U.S. produces the world's top scientists, mathematicians, and engineers, but that every student is prepared for the high-paying technical jobs of the 21st century. We need the engineers that will invent the next new things. We need the manufacturers to design it and educate and an educated workforce to produce it. We cannot and would not want to compete, compete globally on wages alone. We need to operate at a much higher level in this country. Given the current economic crisis, our economic competitiveness is more important than ever before. We've been trying to create jobs immediately, which we need to do, absolutely. But we also need to look down the road. If we do not take action to strengthen our nation's economic competitiveness now, including improving science and math education, we could create jobs now only to lose them in the future to foreign competition. We need, we need to make sure that our children are prepared 
and a strong foundation in math and science education is an essential part of that preparation. One of the best ways we can prepare our students in by, is by encouraging their interest in math and science. So I'm asking our nation's students and teachers, for all of our sakes, to go out and have fun around Pi Day. I